children how are you all today i hope you all are healthy and happy i welcome you all to your english class and for today's video lesson we are going to start a new chapter the third chapter from your mastering grammar book nouns gender now children in our previous chapter we had seen we had learned about nouns so what were nouns nouns were words that uh actually were the naming words that were names given to person animal places things and emotions we had also learned about the different kinds of nouns namely the common noun the proper noun the abstract noun material noun common noun right children so in this chapter we will be learning about one more quality of the nouns that is the gender so now gender is that quality of the noun which uh, which will tell you whether the noun is masculine feminine neuter or common now children let's move ahead with the chapter you will find this chapter on page number 15 of your book so obviously with the uh, with the first uh, line only you can see that we have the definition right there so let's get into it let's write the definition first Okay. So gender now what is gender you have to underline this word gender is the quality of the noun or the pronoun quality of the noun or the pronoun which classifies it which classifies it classifies means children divide it okay classifies means categorize it which classifies it into masculine masculine children means the male gender the male species feminine common feminine means the female ones common means it can be both masculine or feminine that means both boy or girl and then the neuter gender which is neither a male nor a female okay so neuter gender yes so children this is your definition now we will be learning about some of the examples let's see so my brother dushyant and mrs adlaka's daughter kanupriya are friends so let's write this example children this example is in your book only let me start with your books exercise uh, books example first and then i will be giving you some new examples my brother dushyant my brother dushyant and mrs adlaka's daughter kanupriya are friends yes children now let's break it you will notice children that the common nouns are usually in uh, actually they will be telling you about the gender so remember this that common nouns are involved in this gender game so here children brother this word brother we are not going to underline children i am just going i am just explaining you so brother this word brother this noun brother is telling us what is telling us that the person is a man right
man. Okay? Right? Now the word daughter. You see here? Daughter is right here. Daughter is telling us that the person is a woman. Right? So here children, Mrs. also you can see it is not mentioned but still Mrs. is also what? A uh, uh, it's talking about a female. It's talking about a woman. So we have seen here that these words brother, Mrs., daughter they are of this gender. Brother is uh, masculine and daughter is feminine because she is a woman. So now children we have seen this. We have learnt about this. Now you can see in the same uh, in the same sentence we have friends as well. This word friends it is also a common noun. I told you you have to observe that it's common noun or not. So friends is also a common noun, and we are going to write it. Okay, I hope you have finished this, children. Now let me rub this. So, now friends, children, you can see that friend can either be friend can, children, either be a female or a male, right? It can be a man, it can be a woman, it can be in feminine or it can be in masculine. So, what we are going to write? Friend is what? Friend is, this can be either, either a male or female. Okay, you saw it. So this can be either a male or a female. Now, you have also seen they went to the same school is in the same sentence, is in, uh, is in the same uh, storyline so they went to the same school so children school here do you see school is a building it can be neither a female nor a male so it is neither a male nor a female It's an institution, it's a building. So it cannot be a male or female. Only persons are male or female. Right? So here we had seen children in the first one where we had seen brother. The word brother was in male. A male, uh, it, is, it was talking about a man. Then we had daughter, it was talking about a woman. Then we had friend, which uh, can be a male or a female. And then we have school, uh, which is neither a male nor a female. So children, here now with this one, I am going to tell you about the four genders that we know or that exists. Okay, what are those? So, nouns have four genders. Okay. Nouns have four genders. In first case, do you remember the word brother was uh, a male? So we had learnt about it. We had seen about it. Right? So brother was what? Brother was a male. So he, there we will see that we have the masculine gender. The first one is masculine gender. Where the person we are talking about is a male. Okay? Then we have the feminine gender or feminine, whatever you want to say. Feminine gender. Okay. So here we will know that the person referred is a female. Okay. Next we have common gender. So this is the third one. This is the second one. This is the first one. 
so common gender in common gender children what do we know that the person may be a male or a female okay and the neuter gender which is neither a male nor a female yes so here are you four kinds of gender yes so children you are never going you are never going to say that this one this word okay gender this is never going to be a plural form just gender only you are not going to write genders the four genders are so it is gender only so you have to remember it you are not going to pluralize it okay i hope you understood till here now let us look at some examples right there a noun that denotes a male person or animal is said to be of the masculine gender so a noun will which will be telling us about the masculine gender like man boy uncle son brother king lion cock okay these words then what we have a noun that denotes a female person or animal is said to be of the feminine gender so i have already told you that feminine gender will be of talking about females okay then we have a noun that denotes a thing without life okay with no life so i told you about neither a male nor female it won't be having any life that means it is not talking about a person or animal right so when it's not talking about any living object then we know that it is in neuter gender it is said to be in the neuter gender that is neither male or nor female so car chair all the inanimate things that means all the non living things are uh, will fall into this category okay neuter gender now a noun that denotes either a male or female the common gender is said to be of the common gender like student uh, my student can be a girl can be a boy right uh, you are watching the video now you can be a, a girl also and you could be a boy as well so anything now child child can be a boy child can be a girl friend friend i told you about friend right here only so friend can be a boy can be a girl pupil okay parent teacher so parent is your mother or father so parents are them together so parent can be a mother can be a father as well so these words children what are what are the different kinds uh, are the different words for the common gender right now children we will be moving ahead with the formation of feminine nouns how are we going to form the feminine nouns so children from the masculine word you can easily form the feminine nouns by what by adding ess the first uh, first point for this one is by adding ess to the masculine form let's write it down so let me give the heading formation of feminine nouns so we are going to see the ways how we are going to form feminine nouns number 1 by adding ess by adding ess to the masculine gender yes so first one is this one like you know some words i think let's write it down like lion plus 
ESS. This was masculine. Lion was masculine. Then we added ESS to it. And then it becomes what? The feminine gender. Lioness. Right? So this will become the feminine gender. Yes? Then hair. H-E-I-R. Yes, it becomes hairs. And then number C, author. Author is the writer. Here is someone who, dis, uh, who is the descendant or the, who, uh, uh, means or the person who can claim the property of they have, uh, his father, author, authoress, yes, number D now, priest, priestess with ESS, Shepherd, shepherdess. Children, you have these words in your book as well. Then F, you have host, hostess. Yes, you are adding ESS and it becomes hostess. So did you see how the masculine gender after adding ESS to it changed into a feminine gender okay the feminine gender now i hope you have learnt this one you have seen what and how you can change the gender into feminine by adding ess now moving to the second one now should you remember that sometimes the spellings of the words are changed after adding or before adding the word ESS. So how it's changing like hunter becomes huntress. You will see this what happens here. So you should note this key rule under ESS only. So what's happening here? Sometimes the spellings of the words are changed before adding ESS. Yes, so what does it mean? See the first example A here. Hunter. You see this spelling? And now what will it become when we are going to change into feminine gender? Hunter, H-U-N-T, R will remain the same. So here E is removed first and then ESS is added, Huntress. Yes, it was easy. Number B now, Emperor. You see here, E is removed and O here, R here is removed and it becomes Empress. Yes, number C now. Duke. See, we are changing the spelling here as well. So, D-U remains the same, but K will be replaced with C-H and then E-S-S is -S added. Okay. Number D. You can see there are lots of words, children. Governor. Governor becomes governess. You can see O-R is replaced by E-S-S. Now E, poet. See in this one children, it could have been categorized in that one only. Poetess. In the first one. Because there is no, uh, no spelling change. Here we have the same word at only. 
So now F Tiger Tigress See E R E is removed and R is written first then E S S had been added. Okay, number G now God here see we have to double the consonant double D E S S. We are going to write this. Yes children I hope you uh, understood this how we can change the spelling and turn it into feminine gender. Now children we will be moving to our next point and that's an exercise we have to do it. Change the following from masculine gender to feminine gender. Let's do this exercise children we don't have much to do only five words are there. Five masculine gender words are there and then we have to write the feminine gender for it. It can be written from the box itself because you have seen that in the box only there are these words explained clearly and how we are going to change into feminine. So first word children, we are on page number 16 and exercise A. We are doing exercise A. Okay, so number 1 here is tiger. What will be the answer? Tigress. Yes, number two. Duke. Just now only, just a while ago I told you about this one. It becomes Duchess. Yes, with the addition of ESS. Number three, waiter. Okay, ER is there. We are going to remove E and we are going to add SS. Right, ESS. Number four, God. Then Goddess. Double D, ESS. Five, number five is Lion. Such easy words, children. Such easy masculine gender. Lioness. All these words were already given in your pink boxes. That means your white and pink boxes. Now children moving ahead with the second point by using a completely different word. Now children sometimes we have to memorize this because they are completely different. We cannot change it like we did with the previous point. Like we cannot add ESS and make their math, make their feminine. We will have to completely change the word. Let's see how we do it. I hope you are done with this children. Let's move with the next one. Number second point. Yes. So uh, by using a completely different word. So this is your second point. Let's see. Now children, you, ma are you, all, you may have used this a lot of times. Like father. Father is the masculine gender. Now what is the feminine gender for father? It's one. Yes. Now we have horse. For horse we have what? We have man. Yes. Then stack. Hind, brother, sister, lots of words are there. I will be writing few of them. Brother, sister, cock, hen. Then we have fox, vixen. I told you animals also will be having their feminine gender. So we have here, now we have Lord, Lord Lady, Monk, Nun, okay children, so we have some more, Man, Woman, then you will see children certain uh, compound nouns are there, okay? Gentle man. 
so you don't need to change the adjective for the compound noun like gentle won't be changed it will remain gentle only just what will happen gentle will remain gentle and the other word which is uh, in the masculine will change into feminine gentle woman yes now uncle aunt husband wife yes so a lot of examples are there let me read it groom bride groom is the one who is getting married the dula usually the bride, uh, bride groom or groom then we have sir madam king queen gander goose colt filly earl counter ramp you okay children you have a lot of it you have um, you might have heard a lot of words yourself as well so now let's move to the next exercise b give the feminine gender of these nouns we have to give the feminine gender for these nouns let's write those exercise b children This is also on page number fifteen only, sixteen. The first word in this one is governor. We know this word. Governess. Right. Now number two. prince is princess yes princess number 3 cock hen number 4 gander goose number 5 Lord, lady, number six, tiger, tigress, seven, actor, actress. Number eight, Duke, Duchess. Number nine, Monk, Nun. Number ten, Colt, Vinophilly. Let's see if we can fit some words right here. If we can, master number eleven, mistress. Yes, number twelve, fox, vixen. Thirteen. You have sir. It will be changed into madam. Number fourteen. Or, or is counter. Then we have stag. Stag is him. we have written all these words earlier as well so stack right okay so children here is your exercise b from page number 16 okay so children let it be till here only for today we will be 
doing the rest of the exercise as well as the chapter in our next video lesson thank you for watching the video take care of yourself and your family bye bye